G'day and welcome back to Ducks All Gaming and Elm Creek Farm. We are back here on Elm Creek and continue on with our farming and we are about to get back into some more harvesting. But before we get into that, as you can see, this combine looks a little bit different to what we had previously. So our new 1290 we bought, uh, sorry, 8900 we bought, uh, we've actually taken it back to the dealer and given it a lick of paint. So as you can see, we've now gone to the North American livery for the 8900 so um we've just painted it all up and paid for that expense to be done and uh we're all tickety boo now so just something to to shake it up a little bit so there you go all right uh now this uh colorization is actually true to the um the color schema and uh, we can thank stevie for that but anyway i'm getting a bit ahead of myself with that um but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get going and get our wheat field into harvest. I think it was a wheat field. Anyway, we've got our, our smaller field over the other side of the road um, is ready to harvest. So we're going to get into that. Now, we've skipped on a little bit from where we left off in the last episode. Um, I think the last episode we left off around March, end of March. Uh, we're now in the start of July. We'll be a bit rough through there. We'll need to smooth that out with a grader or something. Um, yeah, so we've, we've moved on a little bit from that, and uh, that's why we've got a little bit of extra money in the bank. In fact, we've, we have a little bit more than that. We actually paid off a little bit of our loan, because uh, we had excess money there in that regard as well. So we've just started whittling that down, as we said we were going to do. But um, we've left 100000 in the kitty, so we've got that to play with, just in case we need to go and buy some supplies, whether it be lime, whatever else we need to buy. And, uh, and that will make us... Uh, all good to go. Um, I have got some plans over the other side of the uh, field there as well. I'm going to uh, talk about that a little bit later. Um, that will come, obviously not straight away, but uh, I think soon enough we'll, we'll be able to get over and into that. But um, we'll, we'll see how things go. All right, so this is exactly the same combine as previously. Um, it's just got the different um, color on it so um, we've got the same we haven't upgraded capacity or speeds or anything else like that um, so it is as we bought it uh, the only thing we did was we paid I think it was effectively I think it cost us about 30,000 or something I think it was oh I actually no I had to get a new a new trailer a new header trailer for the corn header so um, it was about 35 40,000 I think because that was about eight thousand dollars but anyway that's all we've done so Anywho, all right, let's um, let's unfold this guy and get the trailer attached and uh, we'll get this harvested. The other thing we did do is we changed this header out. We went from um, the Convio to the um, this 36 foot draper that has the inbuilt uh, wheels and tow bar on it, uh, just for simplicity's sake. And that, and that cost us, I think that was it. After we sold the other one and then um, bought the new one, it cost us I think about another 20000 or something. So it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Anyway, we're off into the harvest now. And away we go. We'll get this done, then we'll have to see what else we've got around the farm to do. Uh, the other thing we did do, and I'll cover that in a little bit, we made a couple of changes around the top end of the farm um, from a necessity basis, and I'll, I'll discuss that uh, in relation to the greenhouses. Um, so when we head back over the farm at some point, I'll, I'll show you what we did there, or once we've got this guy running on um, on uh, AI Worker, hired hand, then I'll, maybe I'll do it then, but uh, a couple of things to go through there. Um, but apart from that, we're looking pretty good. Um, once we've got a bit of a chance, I'll pull up the map and we'll see what the state of the fields is. Uh, we've got a big sunflower field and harvest coming up uh, soon-ish, um, which will be nice. Um, I don't think that's quite going to happen. I think that's next year, the harvest. So I think we're a bit a bit ahead of ourselves there at the moment. We've got other things we can be doing, so um, we'll get those done as well. Bit of production work to do, so we'll get that sorted. Um, probably got time to, to sell off some production units as well uh, so we'll look at that as well 
Um, yeah, but anyway, that's that's pretty much what we're going to do. One thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to install some more some more placeables, some more um, production placeables and cell points. Uh, not for any other reason, just other than to shake it up a little bit. So because we bought a couple of the um, the placeables, so notably the, the oil processing plant, the spinnery, uh, things like that, um, that takes away cell points from us because obviously we can't go and sell product there anymore. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to, I've got uh, Aunt Emma's store, I think it is. It's a mod that's um, available on the Mod Hub, I think it was, or it may have been on um, King's Mods, I can't remember. Uh, we're going to probably place that down, which gives us another place where we can sell items. Um, and there was another m couple of mods we had placeable-wise that um, we may look at putting in as well. But in any case, uh, we'll have a look at that. All right, so I'm going to get this guy to uh, continue on on his own. We're going to have to empty that out in a minute. Let's have a quick look at the map, and we'll see where we're at. All right, so uh, field 54 is close to being ready for harvest. Field 43 has got a bit to go yet, and the combined field has a bit to go yet as well. Now, that's most likely going to be ready to harvest uh, October. Yes, we've got a little bit of time yet. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is I want to um, harvest this field that we're on now uh, and possibly put some canola in the next run through. Uh, but uh, we'll see what I end up doing with that. All right, let's go over and grab... Uh, a truck and trailer. Uh, do, 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 do. I'll grab a tractor and trailer, that'll do. Um, the other thing I have just noticed what we did as well, we also traded in um, what we have before. Um, I can't remember. Kenworth? No? The Mac? Whatever it was. Kenworth. Uh, we, we've traded that in and we've gone for um, the little uh, man just so we had a better turning circle and that was basically derived around um the problem we've got with uh oh, actually it's one thing i haven't got i haven't got a trailer where's the trailer gone hmm where is the trailer gone oh i'm gonna have to grab the um yoga wagon for now um, yeah, what we did do is we did swap the truck out. So we sold the old truck and bought that truck. Um, because around the, in fact, I might as well talk about it now. Um, around the greenhouses, where I originally put the new layout for the greenhouses, was very tight down the bottom end. And um, because these greenhouses also have a, um, an extended uh, um, boundary or... or or frame for the want of a better term. So if I come in here, for instance, um, I'll get caught up. So as you can see there, I've got plenty of room, but I'll get caught up. So the so the um, the frame effectively bounding the uh, the greenhouse is extended. So as you can see there. See, I've got plenty of room, but it hits me there. Um, and this is with the ones from Rubber Burner. So what we did is we ended up just pulling these greenhouses out here. These um, what was it? Two, four, six, eight greenhouses here on my right now uh, and we just shifted them up a little bit and as you can see it's given us more space down through here and that means we've got more room to negotiate and get in and around the greenhouses to pick up the pallets so um, we did make that change so all we did was basically remove the greenhouses put them back in set them back up with the water and put the product um, chain back on them again so uh, that was the other change we did as well and I think that's about it for changes um, as, you, as you know, I mean, sometimes we do have to do some things off camera, uh, change things up and fix things up and all that sort of stuff, and that's what we did in that instance there. All right, go past our chicken barns, past our warehouse, and we're going to head on over, over out here, and we're going to offload the combine. Now, I'm sure I had... Here it is there. There's my small trailer there. Right, what we are probably going to need to do, so I'm not taking the semi-trailer onto fields, is also look at offloading or buying a new uh, general purpose trailer. Um, and we might look at that a little bit later. I'm not going to look at it straight away. I'm not going to go in and spend the money and take us down to, the, to no money again. I'm going to um, be a little bit more fastidious at the moment because uh, 
I have things I need to purchase um, in relation to placeables and I also want to continue paying down that loan a bit more. And hence why we're going to look at um, selling off some of our production uh, materials even though we may not be getting the maximum amount of profit for it. Um, it's something I've decided we're just going to have to do just to, to get some money. Or we can time it to be uh, the best sell time, but we'll certainly attempt to do so. Come on, if I line that up nicely there, that should be fine. There we go. All right, there we go. 18,000 litres of wheat in the overloader. All right, what we will do is I will go grab the truck and we'll bring that down here. In fact, no, I won't. I'm gonna grab this guy. Go grab the other trailer and we'll go and offload the overloader. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. We are doing well here and we are just continuing on as best we possibly can. Uh, we've been, um, when you're watching this, I've been spending a bit of time on Stevie's uh, Elm Creek edit. Um, I haven't got a video series on that because I was already, I'd already started on this, so um, that's there. But Elm, the Elm Creek edit is a fantastic edit of, um, of this map. And uh, it is available on Stevie's Facebook page. So I, and I'm assuming by the time this video is available, um, the next patch will have dropped from Giants, which means that Stevie will have made that available. Uh, and hopefully um, it's uh, available for you all to use. And um, I strongly recommend it because it is a great map to play. It totally changes the whole look and feel of Elm Creek. Um, and uh, yeah, it is, it is great. So I uh, thoroughly recommend it. And also by that time, here's next mod pack. Mod pack nine should be out, which is part of what we're seeing here. Like the combine delivery and stuff um, was part of that mod pack. Um, so uh, hopefully you can get your hands on that as well. All right, I'm just gonna put the, uh, the pipe out. Now, this is going to fill up very, very quickly because it has got the same capacity as the auger itself. Um, but we'll just do a couple of quick loads and get it done. Well, maybe it has. All right, maybe we're just going to leave that there for now. Uh, what's a combine? Combine. Is at 57%. Alright, so I'll leave that there for now. No, 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 let's go. We'll just take it. <laughs> Change my mind on the fly. Alright. Quickly drop this off. Check where my side is still right. Sometimes I change it back to the rear, depending on where I'm dropping off to, because of triggers. Um, but uh, this one is still on the right, so that's okay. Got some more of this here. I could actually go and feed the chickens uh, first, but I'm not going to. In fact, let's have a look at the animals, see what the animals are like. Uh, they probably could do with some grain, um, grass. Yeah, the, uh, the sheep are okay. I do need to look at getting some more grass. I think we said that in the last episode as well. We need to um, look at mowing some grass where we can or planting some grass. Um, so we might just do that. What I might do actually is after, uh, I, really, I really do need to have this main field always producing stuff we're gonna be uh, trying to make our most money from, which is obviously oil production. Um, I'm going to leave him here this time. Um, what we what we will probably do is we will just um, yeah we'll leave that oil. Maybe the other fields I'll change them into grass fields, 
um, at some point in the near future. You're not going to do that, are you? Nope. I'll have to get you in. He's finished. In fact, he, um, I can empty him straight into the trailer. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to empty this off. A bit of a waste bringing him down here. Really. Oh, I'm going to be way. I'm going to be in the way of the combine if I sit that side, I think. Got most of it, all right. All right, let's just uh, go put this away. Didn't really need it after all. All right, we'll go put this away, and then we'll uh, we'll see what's next. Uh, let's have a look and see what that field fifty three. I think it's the number of it is is uh, got planted in it. I don't think it's sunflower because it's almost ready to, to harvest. So let's see what we what we put in there, and then we'll know what we're going to be doing next. I haven't really pre-planned this episode. No, I'm just winging this one for the moment. Um, reason being is I just didn't have time to. Oh, that's the other thing too. You will have noticed, particularly for this episode, um, that we are now starting a rebranding of Duck Solar Gaming. So you would have seen the new logo, the new uh, loading screen, the new Stinger for Farming Sim, and at the end of this you'll see the new um, uh, end screen for, for YouTube as well. So uh, I hope you like it all, uh, but that's, uh, that's what we've got running now. So um, hopefully... Um, Yes, it's uh, it ties into my um my previous role of, or job um, being the Navy. So uh, that's if anyone was wondering where that came from, um, which by now most of you should know. Um, that is uh, in homage to uh, my previous role as a uh, member of uh, the Navy. And uh, yeah, anyway, All right, come on. I did start the engine. What are you doing? Right, so offload this. And then we'll take this back to the farm and then we're all good again. Right, so just offload that. Let's have a look and see what we've got going on. Um, field 54. Oh, that's got wheat as well. So that'll be ready to harvest probably the next day. So we may end up uh, skipping ahead a day. Uh, I'm going to go have a look very quickly and see what we've got sitting here. So these are our production facilities that we own. I'm just going to see if we've got anything uh, waiting to be picked up. Uh, we've got no clothing there. It's okay. I'm going to head on over to the spinnery. Have a quick look over here. Uh, we've got nothing there. I've got 21,000 wool going through. So this actually, well, there won't be anything here because I think at the moment for the spinnery, we've got that set to distribute. So that should be distributing that directly to... No, it's not. Okay, I'm going to change this um, to distribute. So that should distribute that directly to our tailor, which is going to make the clothes. So hopefully um, I'll see this figure remaining at least stagnant or hopefully going up and um, producing clothes because that's where our real money is. Um, sunflower, or that's still a production. We've got 53,000 sunflower still running there, so that's good. Hopefully that'll continue to run until we've got... Um, uh, upload of, of more sunflowers in there and all the greenhouses are running as well so that's okay all right so what we'll do now is we'll um, head back pack everything up and uh, go from there all right first thing is we'll take the grain back uh, I'll use some of this grain to fill up the chicken barns we'll get them um, sorted with some more uh, some more wheat and then uh, that'll be good to go for a little bit longer as well. Oh, I need to check the honey as well. We need to check to see how much honey's over there to be picked up. We may have to pick some honey up and put that away into the warehouse as well. Oh, and any wool. I haven't, no, there's only a little bit of wool there, so wool's not going to be an issue. Right. 
And I really should have laid, laid these out the other way so it was um, I could just turn straight in. But anyway, it's not, not that big of a deal. Come on, find that trigger. Thank you. Okay. Tickety boo now. And go the other one, and then uh, whatever's left over, we can dump in the silo. Alright, fill these guys up. And there we have it. Right, so the chickens are happy. Excellent. Right. And because of right side tip, I'm going to just turn. I could I could change it to rear tip out the grain door, but it's just easier. One thing that still gets my goat though with um, is with uh, some of the some of the giant stuff is like the fact that the trigger point is so small and you've got, got to be offset for it um, at times as well. Um, it's a bit of a pain. Um, one of the good things with uh, I've noticed with Elm Creek and with uh, I think with Seavey's production pack generally with his updating um, is the the trigger and dumping points have been made a bit bigger, so um, which is good. All right. So that's that's the way there. Let's go grab the combine, put him away. All right, fold the combine, and we'll just go put this away. In fact, no, what I might do is I might go take this over the field and be ready for field fifty-four. Why not? He says. Because we're right near it, it's not going to make much difference. We'll just go over here and we'll just park the combine next to the field. And then as soon as we're ready to um, harvest, the combine is already there. So um, we can just get straight into it. Now the field that's next to field 54, so you know, I keep on saying 53, but 54 is the field we own. Um, field 53 is what we want to own as well. We're going to buy that and then we're going to join these two fields together. That's the ultimate plan. So um, that will be what we end up doing a little bit later as well. All right. Now, um, I think what we might do is might go and plough that field straight in or cultivate it in straight away. Um, let's have a look. Um, if I cultivate that one in straight away, um, which is this one here, 72, then what we can do is we can plant canola uh, on it in August, and that's, I think, what we want to do. I think we'll get some canola going. So um, let's, I think this guy can run the um, cultivator, all right? Let's give it a go. Otherwise, I have to go get the Zerian, <clears throat> which is in the garage. All right, so I'm going to grab the cultivator here, and then we'll, uh, we'll take on that field, get that done. The only else we need to do to prepare that, so as basically we can uh, first day of August, I think it is, we'll um, we'll be able to just plant the canola, and then uh, we'll have some more canola uh, come in next year, and we can. Um, Send that off to the production facility and make some canola oil as well. And that, strange enough, is getting us very close to the end of the episode already. I mean, geez, time flies. And one of the things I did notice the other day I was playing um, is the mulching. I'd, I'd never really looked at the mulching as, as something we needed to do, but uh, certainly for some crops it is, and it does create as a seed bed a lot earlier. So 
um, I think it was things like soybeans, uh, sunflower, stuff like that. If you mulch after harvest, um, you don't have to go through as many stages as well. So we're going to look at that in the future as well um, and just make sure. Whoop, no, don't do that. Uh, no, no, there, yeah, that one. Um, and just check on making sure we're doing the right uh, the right process. And it's going to take a while because it's not quite got the guts for it. But anyway, it'll be all right. it'll be okay. Um, yeah, so um, we'll have to look at uh, doing some mulching as well where it's applicable. This really is a job for the Zerian, that's why we got it, but anyway, so I'm just going to wet the whistle. Uh, one thing too, by the way, you'll probably be seeing the Patreons listed at the moment. They will be delayed by almost a month. So uh, if you have become a patron of the channel, don't worry. You'll um, you'll be showing up on the videos probably pretty much after this one. Um, it's just that uh, this one has been um, recorded and edited uh, before the change of the month. So um, there is a bit of a carryover time. So... And what we're going to do is we are going to disconnect and I'm going to go get the Zerion and we're going to do it properly. It should have done it in the first place. But anyway. As I've always said, you get to see the good, bad and the ugly here. <laughs> Keep forgetting this is only the 600, it's not the 800. So, if I had the 800, um, that wouldn't have a problem with, with dealing with that. But uh, that's an upgrade we'll look at doing sometime later. Certainly not now. All right, I'm just going to park you here. Grab the Zerion. Okay. And off we go. As you can see, I've still got the old logo on the uh, the tractor. That probably won't change out anytime real soon, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Maybe maybe I might change it. We'll see how things go. I might actually do a different logo altogether for, for having on the the farm equipment because um, uh, why not? Basically, uh, so uh, we'll see we'll see what we do with that. But um, may play around play around with another design. Um, and have that as like our farming logo or whatever else, but uh, that will come in due course. But for now, it'll just still be the old uh, Ducks Oily logo. Off we go again. Right, that's a little bit better. <laughs> little bit of difference. All right, but that is where we're going to have to leave it here for this episode um, because uh, time is getting away from us. And uh, what we'll do is we'll end up finishing the ploughing of this field. We'll come back on uh, the next episode, maybe the next game day, uh, and we'll continue preps for this field. Um, and anything else we need to do in relation to like production, like moving any pallets around or stuff like that. And if there's nothing much else going on, we'll also look at uh, doing some selling off of some of our production items that are in our warehouse and things like that. So um, that will be what's coming next. But in the interim, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you enjoyed enjoy the new look to the channel. And I hope you enjoyed the new look for the 8900. Uh, like I said, that's uh, a Stevie mod from Mod Pack 9. Um, so uh, 
that should be well and truly available by now. I'll probably put a link up to my mod review of that and uh, you can go and get that from Stevie's Facebook page. But nonetheless, uh, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you uh, did like the episode, make sure you press that like button. Uh, even if you didn't like the episode, you can press the like button. Uh, <laughs> also with the Google algorithm and all that sort of stuff, and we truly appreciate that uh, those, those likes. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing as well by pressing that subscribe button. And if you do press that, make sure you press the alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when new videos like this are available on the channel. And of course, don't forget to come join us on Twitch, Twitter, Discord and Facebook. The details for all those are down below in the description. As to is the details on how you can support the channel, whether it be by Patreon, YouTube membership or via Twitch. But any assistance in that regard is greatly appreciated but certainly not expected. And lastly, but not all, not the least of all, uh, please take care of yourselves and your loved ones and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Elm Creek Farm. See you all later. Bye.